My father made me guitars when I was a teenager. He was a cabinet maker like my grandfather and my grandfather's father. There were really typical cabinet makers in the Bavaria, making solid wood furniture, windows, tables, you name it. Already as a kid I was building wooden planes or ships. I was always doing something in the shop as well. My father went to Formentera Island in that guitar building school, Formentera. And when he came back with the guitar, I was so impressed. I booked a guitar building course the same year. He came back in May 93 and I went to Formentera in September 93. At that time I was in a cabinet making apprenticeship and I really was very interested in designing furniture. But when I came home I just went on building guitars like every free time I was tearing apart my old guitars and tried to make them better. But then my boss found out that I was only thinking about guitars so he kind of told me that either I concentrate more on the cabinet making in his company or I might go on my own, so I decided on guitar. Back then in the 90s there were maybe a handful of electric guitar makers. You also had to be a master guitar maker to be allowed to run a business. There was still an older generation making guitars and they were just not sharing anything. Not a single word. This very first guitar I made, Music Messer was still going strong and a big show. And Paul Smith had a booth every year there and it turned out that he played with his band in a Frankfurt venue. So I grabbed my guitar and wanted to go to the venue to see the band, but it was sold out so I couldn't go in. So I went back to the car, got some tapes, went to the backstage entrance and said, hey, I need to urgently bring these tapes to the Paul Reed Smith band because they need to rehearse something. So, <laughs> so I was in backstage and then I grabbed Paul. And he was very open to look at the guitar and he was also very straight. And then he said, well, you're not good enough. <laughs> so that was the first meeting. He gave me his card and I literally wrote him faxes and I got my answer back within the next day or two, but only hints. So he would always lead me in a certain direction and I think he had a lot of fun seeing me really experimenting and making mistakes and that was the learning path. Pretty much every guitar I thought it was worth showing I brought to Paul. There was one trade show in Cologne where he also exhibited and played with his band. That was the first time he shook hands and said, now it's a professional guitar, so now you're good to go. And that was a very magic moment. Every day is a curve of learning and I think it's very essential to grow. Not necessarily in the sense of I want to make now 100 guitars and next year 1000 guitars, but to run a better business, to have a better environment for your employees, to have a better product for your customer, to have happier customers. And of course, always the task to make a better guitar. There's always something more to do. Nikuba Guitars is way bigger than I ever thought it will be, so we're now nine full-time and three part-time employees. The nice thing is that we have people who are with us 10 plus years. I think we have a good family going here. I definitely know that it will not go in the direction of being a big, big company. I would just want to make great guitars and with the size we have right now, 
and I really like it because I still get to build guitars. I rather concentrate on improving and we have, we have ideas with some new guitars and uh, we always do limited runs, so I have something cooking in that direction. I have something towards the stripped down cool guitar coming next year. As long as this size of company feeds us and gives us a stable kind of living, we're cool. I still play in bands and I still play live myself on a small hobby kind of scale. Being on stage and have a good crowd is very rewarding. But uh, being in the audience and seeing a cool band playing your instruments, I never thought it would be, but that's more rewarding. And it doesn't have to be a famous band. It's just cool if you see people being creative with something we built for them.